So what did I learn during this course? First of all, player state and game state are very important places to store values, a lot more important than I thought, more important than the game mode and more important than the player controller. Uh, they can be overlooked and uh, it is worth it to give them um, um, to, to give them just uh, you know more look, uh, more time uh, and see what else you can do with them. Component based design uh, a lot better than interface. Uh, you can have uh, instead of having multiple game state modes for each uh, literal game mode that you have, you could just have game mode components. And those components could handle uh, spawning players, giving them classes, giving them experience, uh, managing when they spawn and how they spawn and doing everything. This could be just a template component and then you could just make uh, child components of it and change it for each game mode that you want to have. Uh, avoid interfaces for everything. Interfaces are amazing for components you want to expose to other developers. So like when I did the statistics component, the RPG one, it was absolutely perfect to use uh, interface for it, for everything, setting and reading values. But it wasn't ideal for communication in between of player state, player controller, pawn, and then at certain point I had same interface implemented in four different locations and I wasn't even sure which one was storing the proper value that is important for me. Uh, game mode versus game mode base. Uh, it was a mistake to use game mode base. I should have went with the full game mode. It has um, some features that allows you to use uh, pre-match and post-match and has match started functionality already in it that it can meet a certain criteria to, to make them a match started. <clears throat> and just um, all, all the extra features of a game mode are actually very usable. And I ended up in remaking some of them in my custom game mode. So yeah, that was a bad call on my side. Also think what to place where. Think about your design, put some time and effort into that. like what uh, if you want to store for example inventory inside the player or maybe actually the player state if you want to you know make a saving of your characters in here or there where do you want to store values where do you need them where do you want to read them and how also um, important for game state and player state is that those two classes are always relevant. So be careful with replication. Every value that you replicate in them is being replicated to everyone. So some uh, variables, it's probably good to set replication rules to be only replicated in between the owner and the server. So for example, I didn't do that for classes. They should be replicated only between server and the owner uh, because remote clients, they don't care what class you are picking in your menu. And by very fast uh, changing classes, you could potentially uh, wreck uh, the network connection for other players and make the match almost unplayable by replicating a lot of information that is not important for them. Let's see what did we fail to do? So the particles that I implemented, they're not really very good. Uh, I haven't had time to play with them and I already uh, I am, I am uh, behind my 40 hours mark, so I am at 41 hours already. So I'm not putting more hours into this game unless I have to really debug something. I didn't have time to do classes uh, sorcerer, so I couldn't do uh, spells as weapons. And I'm not very happy with that, but that would be extra, I would say, at least three, four hours to make spells. But the rule for making spells uh, instead of weapons, it would be basically the same. I would make spells as actors that are basically weapons and they store the same interface as weapons. So they give you the primary ability, secondary ability, and they would just uh, trigger those abilities. There wouldn't be that much special things, but when it comes out to effects, they would be different. Projectiles from some spells could be um, homing projectiles. Well, it's, it's a missed opportunity, but I will co cover uh, spells in the next tutorial for sure. 
sessions. I didn't do server explorer, so right now you can just join the first free session that is accessible. You can add join very specific session. Uh, that's probably not much work. The, the most of the work is done on the UI side, so I might add it later on. Uh, but I didn't prioritize this task and um, maybe I should have. For sounds, I didn't do physical item drops at all. I didn't even try implement it. There's, there are no dev sounds, so the character just drops them. That's it. Uh, there is no experience, no levels. Each character is level one always, which is also not ideal. I wanted characters to unlock new weapons with each, with each level. Uh, but that's not going to happen. That's an extra, I would say, three, four hours as well. Voice communication by Steamworks. Uh, there's everything for it in advanced sessions, but actually there's a lot to implement that. Uh, a lot of functions, a lot of things to think through how it should work uh, in multiplayer. And I'm not very good with setting up sounds, attenuation, ranges and everything. Uh, interaction system, it was simply not necessary. We could make like some uh, drop traps, some doors and other stuff, but uh, it wasn't necessary for the gameplay that we created. So I completely skipped that. Um, I forgot to check if I can use a single montage, but actually enable that will be very hard because I cannot run uh, a montage, well, I can run a montage section, I mean, I can start on a section. So, with two animation tasks, but having single animation node, we could start and loop on one uh, task, uh, and then the second task would be just the start of the section of the aggregate, so that's probably doable. Um, I didn't do custom ability tasks, because we handle everything in the component. So this just wasn't needed at all. Uh, there are no hazardous environment. We just got player versus player. Uh, also the bow, I'm not very happy with how it works. Um, configure UI based on marketplace assets. Yeah, so there are a lot of really good marketplace assets for proper UI HUD. Uh, you know, the mini map and everything. I didn't do anything on that. I wanted to do grapple hook for this game, but uh, 40 hours it came and went so fast that uh, it was impossible to finish all the features. So there's still a lot of work that could be done with the current evaluation of how much time it took to do what I've done. I would say that this is at least 15 hours to finish all the tasks on the board and all the features that I wanted to finish. Uh, do I want to put extra 15 hours? I don't know. This tutorial is already going to be, I would say, uh, very long. Like I, I, I got, uh, th this will be probably like 80 episodes. So giving extra 15 hours would be extra 30 episodes just to add all those features. I don't want to make such a long series that no one will be able to follow and just do everything for 50 hours straight. Uh, so let's edit that and start planning the next uh, tutorial 